Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, not a lot of bells and whistles today because I wanted to put something up uh, given that we've just learned that 3M has settled all of their cases in the combat earplugs litigation for $6.01 billion. What's going to happen at this point is you're probably going to see uh, some contact from your attorneys. Make sure that you have your DD-214 ready to go. Make sure that uh, there's been a census form filed. There's going to be an online filing system. Whether you have your own case, your pro se, or whether you have a lawyer. And then we're going to start seeing releases come out. I don't know anything about the exact amount of the settlement. There's going to be a town hall with plaintiff's attorneys at some point soon. There will be a basic settlement if you really just don't have very much data uh, or you don't have much treatment, so you'll be able to do that. There may also be a, a stock option. There's three things you can do. You can accept the settlement. You can go for a longer review. Uh, that means it'll take longer to get paid because uh, 3M is going to be paying out the $6 billion over a period of years. I believe it's going to be five years. Uh, that is also because they just settled a case in the PFOS, the Forever Chemicals litigation, for $10 billion. So that's really a counting uh, situation for them. The other thing is you can opt out. Uh, opting out is going to be very hard. It's going to be unlikely if you're represented that you're going to be able to do so because uh, check your retainer agreement in many cases uh, those retainer agreements say you authorize us to accept any reasonable settlement. So you may very well, uh, it's going to be hard to opt out. I don't have all the parameters on it. I've still got to plow through three case management orders and I've got to read through some stuff online on how to make sure that I get my clients registered for the case. So that's what's going on. There is at the moment, it's going to be consolidating the cases and seeing who's going to accept the initial settlement, which means you'll get your money fairly quickly. You're not going to get rich. I wouldn't exactly buy that property on the French Riviera. Um, normally I talk about if you have more questions, contact me, contact my website. I want to be very clear. This video is not an advertisement for new cases. I am not accepting new cases. Uh, no attorney uh, in their right mind is accepting new cases because the deadline uh, to register those cases is September 12th and having all that paperwork that you need is simply not going to happen. So if you have waited too long, unfortunately, I think the window has slammed shut for you. If you have not filed, if you have not retained counsel, if you haven't done anything, um, again, not an advertisement. Uh, this is only sort of informational because I know uh, I've been seeing it blow up in my uh, comments. I know you guys have been waiting and you need some information. I'll do a full video once I've had an opportunity to review the case management orders and give you a little more uh, detail. There's also a conference with the court and attorneys uh, coming up, so uh, let's uh, wait on that. I believe that's going to be next week. Uh, I'll have a more detailed video as soon as I can get everything in order here, but I didn't want to keep you guys hanging. Yes, there is a settlement. Do we know all the details as of how you're going to get paid if you're in the litigation? No. Uh, are you going to be able to opt out? Probably not. Those are the big takeaways. But I did want you to have that information. Thanks again for watching. Thanks to all of you for subscribing and commenting and being active on this channel. I really appreciate it. I'm just throwing this up. No bells and whistles. So I apologize for any uh, production uh problems and the fact that I haven't maybe stood close enough to my razor this morning, but uh, I'll see you all soon.